What else can you say after the Italian Grand Prix except Forza Ferrari, Forza Leclerc? The Italian team rolled the dice on a one-stop strategy which, against all odds, came off perfectly. With the Drivers' Championship in the balance, a lot of the coverage focused on what was happening at the front of the field, but there was action across the grid, with Kevin Magnussen in particular driving an incredible race. He made the one-stop race work as well, stopping earlier than Charles Leclerc to secure points by two-tenths of a second after receiving a 10-second penalty for a collision with Pierre Gasly. However, with that 10-second penalty came two penalty points on his license. While this may be his final season in Formula 1, he will go out with a record, the first ever F1 driver to get their license suspended for penalty points. Today, I'll check out what happened at the Italian Grand Prix, why the FIA are punishing Magnussen, and what it means for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So, don't go anywhere. Charles Leclerc pulled off an extraordinary home win for Ferrari at the Italian Grand Prix, ahead of the McLarens of Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris. Ferrari, following Carlos Sainz's mid-race advice, chose the one-stop strategy for both their drivers, to vault them in front of the McLarens, who chose the conventional two-stop approach. That left Leclerc hanging on in the closing laps from the rapidly closing McLarens, and he just managed to resist them, winning by 2.6 seconds to send the Tifosi in the grandstands wild. His win upset McLaren, who looked set for a win after locking out the front row of the grid with Lando Norris in pole position. There will be internal investigations into what happened on lap 1 at McLaren after Piastri's fair but aggressive move ended with Norris slipping down to third. However, if McLaren had still gone for a two-stop strategy and Ferrari had gambled on a one-stop, then it likely wouldn't have made any difference if Oscar had made the move or not. The pre-race plan for every team appeared to be a two-pit stop strategy. The race runs from practice showed that tyre degradation was going to be high during the race, and that was proved to be true on Sunday. However, when there were points on the line, it's always worth taking a gamble. Ferrari did it to great effect with Charles Leclerc, who just about held on to take the win, with Oscar Piastri needing two or three more laps to have time to catch him and make the overtake. This was a race won for Ferrari rather than one lost by McLaren. Further down the field, the one-stop also worked perfectly for Kevin Magnussen, who managed to finish in ninth position before a 10-second penalty dropped him less than a second behind Alex Albon, meaning he was classified as 10th. K-Mag pitted on lap 14, putting on the hard tyres, and spent the next 10 laps nursing his tyres with lap times around the 1 minute 25 second mark. He dropped to the mid-124s for the next 20 laps before shockingly finding the best part of a second of extra pace a lap over the final 6 or 7 laps, as he tried to keep Alex Albon and Fernando Alonso 10 seconds behind him to secure a 9th place finish. Over the final 10 laps, K-Mag actually managed to increase the gap between him and Albon by 3.5 seconds, but it wasn't quite enough. Still, it was an incredibly well-earned point for Kevin, who started 13th on the grid. However, he won't have been celebrating that point on Sunday night. That's because he'll be suspended from the Azerbaijan Grand Prix after exceeding the permitted number of penalty points in a year. The Dane was given a 10-second penalty and two penalty points on his license for a collision with Alpine's Pierre Gasly during the Italian Grand Prix. That took him to a total of 12 points in a calendar year, and the rules dictate that means an automatic one-race ban. It was almost inevitable that Magnussen would pick up a ban this season, after accruing 10 points in the opening six races, including an incredible five in one weekend in Miami. K-Mag will become the first ever driver to be banned through the license point system, a record which he probably hadn't wanted to earn in what is likely to be his last ever F1 season. After the race, he was furious at the FIA for a decision that he thought was completely incorrect. Me and Gasly had slight contact, no damage on either car, no consequence in the race, we just had slight contact and missed the corner, and so what? We were racing, Magnussen said, before his ban was confirmed. He added, I have spoken to the stewards so many times, and I still don't understand what the rules are. They don't want racing, that's what it seems to me. If this thing between me and Gasly can't be deemed a racing incident, then I don't know what can. It doesn't make sense. Magnussen drew a parallel with another incident in the race between his teammate Nico Hülkenberg and Arby's Daniel Ricciardo to suggest the stewards were not being consistent. I don't know why we need to be throwing around penalties like this, he said. And on top of that, I saw Nico almost get thrown into the wall at 300 km an hour by Ricardo. I'm not saying he did it on purpose, but still, he got 5 seconds and I got 10 seconds. It doesn't add up at all. 
Kevin is right to question the FIA's decision to penalize him in the way they did. He likely did deserve a penalty for causing contact, but a 10-second penalty and two points on his license is incredibly harsh for an incident which had absolutely zero effect on either driver's race. Unfortunately for Haas, there is no way around this. Team principal Ayo Komatsu said he would have to accept the stewards' decision. Kev races hard, he races aggressively, and in some occasions, the penalty he had, maybe he was too aggressive, Komatsu said. This time around, he was trying hard and then locked up, and then put Gasly off the track, so he got a penalty. I accept that. However, Komatsu said Magnussen drove a fantastic race to ensure he still scored a point after his 10-second time penalty was applied. He also confirmed that Magnussen will return to the car to complete the season after serving his ban. It wasn't just the Haas driver who was disappointed in the FIA's decision to give him the final two penalty points needed for a race ban. Gasly downplayed the incident with Kevin Magnussen, describing the contact as minor, saying it was nothing more than a bit of wheel to wheel. Gasly was even willing to visit the stewards to advocate for the reversal of Magnussen's race ban, as he believes the punishment is disproportionate to the incident. Honestly, this was nothing. Someone told me he got a 10 second penalty. I'm a bit surprised by that because he tried, but it was a bit of wheel to wheel, and in the end, I really didn't lose any time. I'm a bit surprised. I hope somehow they can revert on that because that would be definitely unfair. I'll be happy to do it, vouch for Magnuson with the stewards. I'll see what I can do. That will feel very unfair for the incident that it was. Fernando Alonso also added his voice to the discussion, sympathizing with Kevin Magnuson's situation. Alonso has been hard done by the stewards a number of times this season and has been championing the cause of more consistency from the race stewards. The Aston Martin driver questioned whether all of the penalty points Magnussen had accrued were truly in line with the original intent of penalizing dangerous driving. He agreed that while time penalties were necessary, the accumulation of penalty points for what he saw as minor infractions was harder to justify. 100% I feel sympathy, because penalty points, as we discussed many times, should be for dangerous driving. Something that is a danger for the sport and for the others, Alonso said. And I think a couple of those points that he accumulated, I'm not sure I don't have the list here, but sometimes it's just pit lane, white line, unsafe releases, all these kinds of things. This is part of racing, this is a drive through, this is a 5 second penalty. I understand the racing penalties, but the safety penalties is a little bit harder to understand. While Kevin's ban appears unjust and unfair, it does give Haas a chance to blood their rookie driver for next season. Oliver Behrman will partner Esteban Ocon at Haas in 2025, and while Haas haven't confirmed who will replace K-Mag in Baku in two weeks' time, it is guaranteed to be Behrman, who has nothing to fight for in F2. It will be Behrman's second ever F1 race after he deputized for Carlos Sainz in Saudi Arabia earlier this year. He'll be joined by the Williams driver Franco Colapinto in starting his second ever F1 race. The Argentinian, who replaced Logan Sargent at Williams for the rest of the season, managed an impressive 12th place finish in his debut race after a mistake in qualifying saw him start 18th on the grid. Are you excited to see what Oliver Behrman can do in a Haas in Baku? And do you think Magnussen is right to be furious at the FIA for their decision to give him a race ban? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and until next time, drive safe and bye for now.